Hey guys, what's going on? So I wanted to make a video about tuning. Um, like I always say, I always get these questions from people on Instagram, Facebook, wherever, um, about all kinds of things. And tuning is another big thing that really comes up um, with a lot of people. And they always ask me, how do I choose which tuner to go with? I'm going to try to do this video the most unbiased way I can. Um, obviously so I you know not just shoving a certain tuner down your throat um, so without further ado let's get to it so you have an EcoBoost Mustang you want to tune it you want to make it faster all that stuff where do you start so first of all before we even get to the tuner part um, like I always recommend intercooler catch can spark plugs get those first you can run all them on a stock tune no big deal um, so you have all that stuff, then we work on tuners. Now you have a couple options. Some of the best tuners in my opinion are going to be PD Tuning, obviously, um, Tune Plus, and Lund. Um, Lund is a little bit iffy, I've heard good things and bad things about them. Um, they're a little bit more, um, they don't push the car as much or as hard unless you're running like full E85 or race gas, um, they're a little bit safer. So that's kind of how they roll. Tune Plus, I used to have them as you guys may know. Um, good tuner, you know, makes good tunes. I ran 12.5 at 109 with his E30 tune and intercooler, so it definitely moves. Um, you know, drivability is great. Trans tune on the automatic is awesome. Um, then there's PD tuning. Um, no complaints whatsoever. Ryan's an awesome guy. I'm trying to be unbiased here, so I'm not going to go into any more detail than that. Um, but so basically, those are going to be the three top tuners you're going to hear about. Um, and when you want to go to de to decide on a tuner, what I always recommend people do is they message them or email them. They ask them questions. They ask them about the tuning process. Anything you know that they have questions about, just message them or email them and ask them. It kind of, first of all, you'll get your questions answered. Second of all, you'll kind of get a feel for their customer service and their personality because, um, you know, it, it, it's one thing, you know, they tune you, but you're gonna be dealing with them um, likely more than a couple times because um, data logging, um, as some of you know with the tuning process, you have to data log, send them logs, they send you revisions back. You're going to be dealing with your tuner you know, numerous times and if, if you have a tuner that you know, is not friendly or isn't that easy to deal with, it's not going to be a fun process. Even if the tune's amazing, it's still not going to be that great of a process. So you know, email them, message them, get to know the tuner, ask them questions, see how they answer them. And you know, you really can't go wrong with any of the big tuners like PD Tuning, Tune Plus, Lund, like they're all good tuners. So it's gonna be more down to your preference and who you wanna work with at, at this point. So um, that's the first thing I recommend. Okay, so second thing to consider when you're looking into getting a tune for your EcoBoost. We already covered the actual tuners, getting to know them, you know, trying to figure out which one you prefer. Second of all is the device they tune with. Some people don't like certain devices, like the SCT. Um, I, I, I can't stand using the X4, um, which, you know, it's okay, but it, t it takes too long to tune. It's just not a good interface, um, in my opinion. And, you know, companies like uh, Brew City Boost and Unleashed use those. Um, that's fine, you know, if you want to use the S X4, that's, that's no big deal. But um, Lund uses I believe they can use the X4 or they can use the N-Gage, which the N-Gage, if you don't know, it's basically a little round gauge, touch crane, all that stuff. It can actually fit in your air vent, but that's what you use to tune it. And I believe it tunes fairly quickly, um, which is a good thing. And, you know, I've never personally used one, but I hear it's actually not that bad. It's actually a pretty good interface. Um, so Lund uses that, the N-Gage and the X4. PD Tuning and Tune Plus use the access port, which the access port, I should have grabbed it out of my car. Um, the access port is not touchscreen, but it's a million times better, in my opinion, than the X4. Um, you know, the interface is a million times better. It's so easy to use. 
um, data logging. The X4 only holds one data log, where the Access Port, if I remember correctly, holds a hundred. Um, you know, it's just overall easy. The tuning, I when I upload a map to my car that I just got from my tuner, it takes probably 60 seconds versus where it would take about 10 minutes with the X4. So it definitely saves a lot of time as well. Um, and also with the Cobb, you can switch maps on the fly. So basically, um, what you can do is say you have a 93 tune and an E30 tune. Instead of having to retune your car, all you have to do with the Cobb access port, you hit cruise control cancel, and the tachometer will basically jump up to whatever map you're on. So if you're on map 1, 93, it'll jump up to 1000 RPM. Then you hit the up button on cruise control and you can jump up to map 2 all the way through map 5 which would be 5000 RPM. So it's really cool because you can literally be driving and change maps which I don't see why you would want to but when you pull up to a gas station and you're like say you want to fill up an E30 so you're on 93 right now you fill your tank up with however many gallons of E85 and then 93 then you want to switch to your E30 tune cruise control cancel hit the up you're on your E30 tune it's that easy literally takes seconds um, I personally prefer the access port I think it's I think it's better than the other tuning devices even though I haven't had experience with the N-Gage so I'm not gonna say anything bad about it but the X4 is miles behind the access port um, so yeah, that's another thing to consider is the device you're using. So it, it just depends. I would do some research on it. You know, obviously do all your homework when you're deciding to pick a tuner, figure out what device they use, all that kind of stuff. Look up reviews, go on Facebook pages, all that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, I highly recommend PD tuning. Uh, I use Tune Plus. I like I said, it was great. You know, no no complaints really. Um, and then Lund is another big one that I hear a lot of people using and having good results with. Um, drivability, PD tuning, and Tune Plus have great drivability. Um, no issues with that. So, um, yeah, just I urge you guys to do your homework um, when you're deciding on a tuner. Um, I urge you guys to talk to the tuners beforehand. You know, you get a feel for how they are, get a feel for what kind of people they are, get a feel for how the tuning process goes, all that kind of stuff. So anyways guys, this is a short quick video for you guys because I get this question all the time. So I figure, you know what, I'll keep sharing my opinion with you guys if you keep asking questions. So anyways, as always, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. We're already up to 625 and I hope we keep growing, you know. I've been slacking off lately, but we're getting back to the videos. Um, yeah, and like always, have a great day.